President Joe Biden is now in Lithuania ahead of a high-stakes NATO summit where world leaders will discuss major topics from Russia's war in Ukraine to whether to admit new members into the alliance. The president first made a stop in London. ABC's M. Wim shows how this comes at a critical time between Russia and Ukraine. President Joe Biden touching down in Lithuania today ahead of a pivotal NATO summit, a two-day affair which starts tomorrow. Earlier in England, Biden was given a royal welcome by King Charles III at Windsor Castle. The two leaders discussed climate change and how to help developing countries. The U.S. president also had his fifth meeting in as many months with British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Couldn't be meeting with a closer friend and a greater ally. World leaders this week discussing several major topics, including the latest development in whether Sweden can join NATO. The NATO chief announcing holdout Turkey has agreed to allow Sweden's membership to move forward. Now we believe it's time to move to full accession for Sweden in very short order. This as NATO members are also divided over Ukraine's bid to join the alliance. Biden insisting it can't be done while Ukraine is at war with Russia. If the war is going on, then we're all in the war. You know, we're at war with Russia if that were the case. On the battlefield, Ukraine pressing ahead in its counteroffensive. Its officials saying in just the last week, Ukraine has liberated more than 14 square kilometers of its own territory. And the Kremlin just confirmed Russian President Putin did meet with the Wagner Group's boss, Yevgeny Prigozhin, days after his failed mutiny. The fate of Prigozhin and his mercenary group remains unclear. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.